Okay, I don't know what the fuck you did, but apparently that started it. <laughs> Maybe you're raising your phone or something, I don't know. Hey, Hello. guys! <laughs> Quick review time. Uh, this is a new Mountain Dew flavor. I know, lighting is shit. I sincerely apologize. Unlike my car, his only has the backlight. So we're backlit to shit. Can I actually use your flashlight real fast? Absolutely not. Okay, fuck you too, then. Bing bong. So, the Mountain Dew flavor is Mountain Dew Summer Breeze. Just gonna use this for, for, for proper lighting. Proper lighting. But, yeah, this is apparently uh, Mountain Dew with a flash of Summer Americana Natural and Artificial Flavors. Whatever the fuck that means. I, I do genuinely like the can design on this, though. It's not bad. I've seen better, but I've also seen a shit ton worse. Sniff test. It's almost what like is that smell? Voltage. It it does smell like voltage like and a white out voltage. Yeah, and I'm not gonna risk tilting this down, but mine splattered a small bit. It does have a lighter blue of it than voltage, but yeah. it's about as light of a blue as the can. But let's try it. Mm. Like a white out voltage. Yeah. It's literally if you mix tastes like if you mixed white Mountain Dew White Out and Voltage. I'm so sad that White Out's not available here anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. That's really good. Um What would you give that? I really hope this isn't the replacement for Dew SA because I fucking love Dew SA. I personally got this at a good nine. I'll, I'll give it a solid nine. It just tastes really watered down. The flavor isn't as bold as I'd like it to be. Yeah. Like, but overall, it's a really good drink, really good taste. It's not too citrusy. It's nice. I mean, I'll personally have to give it the seven because... I'm very picky with my Mountain Dew flavors. Don't get me wrong. I would get this again. Like, clearly, I bought a fucking 12-pack of it, so I'm going to have to drink it again if I want, whether I want to or not. But, again, I, I really hope this isn't replacing the Dew SA because if we're wanting a summer flavor that's not the Baja Blast, Dew SA is a much better flavor with the... Uh, excuse me, with the white out, voltage, and code red. Better out than in, I always say, Fiona. Shut the fuck up. Oh, you shot, don't you <laughs> start. Anyways, but, yeah. This is a great flavor. I can, I, I can highly recommend it, but I still can't give it more than a seven because it's just, it's lacking something for me. It's not bold. Like, the flavor doesn't. Yeah, it's it doesn't punch you in the face like a lot of other Mountain Dew flavors do. Like 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 the on this day of recording earlier today, I reviewed the um, Mountain Dew, not Mountain Dew, the uh, Ghost Green Apple Sour Green Apple. That punches you right in the face with flavor, as you would expect from a Ghost Energy drink. Mountain Dew normally does that for me on any of their flavors, but the Summer Bree, yeah, Summer Freeze just doesn't well that's because mountain dew voltage is just like that it's got that impactful taste white out it's got a very strong taste to it you put two strong tastes together it's gonna be a good flavor but you're risking that pop you know what i mean like it's gonna dwindle down because you yeah. can't expect it to be perfection after although to be fair i've noticed that like with the do say when that first ever came out I held that to a very high standard because I myself constantly mixed Mountain Dew flavors. Like, that's one of my favorite things to do is mix different flavors of Mountain Dew and everything or mix it with Monster. What the fuck is wrong with- Who <laughs> hurts you? Who, nigga? Damn! Did you guys just hear my boy? You mix Mountain Dew not only with other Mountain Dew, but Monster- Dude, I mixed all six of the original Mo Monster Ultra flavors together when they first came out, along with Mountain Dew, Code Red, Voltage, 
and when it was out at the time, pitch black. And I mix them all together into one fucking drink. I was up for about two days. It's okay. I'm here for you. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. We'll do it together. Yeah, piece of shit. <laughs> 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 don't ask it's been a day <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore I've given up trying to figure <laughs> nothing out nothing is real nothing matters I've given up trying to figure out what's going on in my Mom, life with my friends dad friends <laughs> anyways I held Do I Say up to a very high standard because of how I mixed those three original flavors together all the fucking time, so I knew exactly how it tasted. And it's... You actually get more of a kick of the flavors when you mix the three flavors individually. Like, their own flavors, as opposed to when Mountain Dew mixed them together themselves. Because then you just don't get the pop of all of it. Right. So, again, that's kind of why I hold stuff like this to a higher standard, because I know what the what the, what the the uh, flavors taste like mixed together, because I've done it myself. So that's why I hold it to a bit of a higher standard, but it's still not bad. I'd still give it the seven, seven and a half, actually. Oh, we went up a half. Look, there's hope for this Mountain Dew yet. I mean, I still plan on drinking this fucking... This fucking? 12-pack. I, I plan mean, to drink this pack. Where the fuck did I put my shit? Did you lose your weed? I think. Did you leave it at Seamus and Sierra's? I better not have. We'll, we'll find it after the recording. But yeah, that's yeah. kind of all I got to say about this. It's not bad. I'd recommend you go, go out and get it. Yeah, I mean, so I still give it a solid nine because I really enjoyed it. Honestly, I'd sit here and mow on this stuff. Yeah, but like, like, again... I just think it's too watered down. Me giving it a seven and a half isn't saying it's a bad flavor. It's a damn good flavor. Just I have higher. I hate saying this about Mountain Dew, but I have high standards with Mountain Dew. It's like women. They have high standards. Them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Them hoes, buddy. <laughs> sorry to any respectable women who are watching this. So I'm sorry, Pam. <laughs> I don't know who else watches these. That's the only female I know who consistently watches Pam my videos. Pam is a very respectable woman, though. She doesn't hold standards. That's true. But yeah, I got nothing else for this. See you guys. Peace.